Wait, and this is my response to Aquavite's response to Scotch Test Dummies top five go to whiskeys. And my uh, criteria is number one, it has to be available, number two, it has to be affordable, number three, it has to be reliable and consistent, and it has to be damn good. And my first one is. The McCollin 12 year old single malt scotch from the Highlands, readily available for about 48 to 50 dollars. So I think it's very, very affordable, consistent in quality. Yeah, it's a little bit of a sherry bomb, but hey, it's absolutely delicious and I can find it everywhere, not only in this full size bottle, but in minis as well. And I like it so much. It's not only my first love, the whiskey that brought me into uh, the whiskey world but I like to drink it all the time. Yeah, baby. All right, my second is Johnny Walker Black. It is also readily available. It is ubiquitous, like the McCollin, at every bar, every restaurant, every hotel. Oftentimes uh, on uh, an airplane, it's bottled at 40%. The McCollin is bottled at 43%. It has just a hint of smoke really reliable in terms of quality only thirty dollars you can't beat the price um, and it's actually probably the first peated whiskey that I ever liked you know the name you know the quality it has to be on the top five the Johnny Walker Black coming at number three is Amarut Fusion um, a fusion of Scottish peat and uh, Indian uh, barley. Uh, regularly 65 to $70, 50% ABV. Can't beat that. Uh, it is delicious up front. Um, loads of complexity, layers of flavor. Quality price ratio is through the roof. You would have to pay more than $100 to get a purely Scotch whiskey of this quality, also readily available and affordable, although not so much in hotels, bars, uh, or, or on airplanes, but still, your typical local uh, liquor shop has definitely got it. Gotta have this, go international. This is top five whiskeys, not top five scotches. You gotta have the Amarut Fusion. All right. On the top five list, you gotta have a bourbon. You gotta have something from the United States. So number four on my top five list go-to whiskeys is Buffalo Trace Bourbon. It is bottled at 45% alcohol by volume, readily available. And if you can't get this, I'd go for the maker's mark, but this is absolutely fantastic. Last but not least, the number five, my top five go-to whiskeys is the Ardbeg 10 single malt scotch whiskey from Isla at bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. Available anywhere between $46 and $50 here in the United States. Readily available at every whiskey shop in the United States. Maybe not so much in a hotel. Maybe not so much at, at your local bar, although it should be if it's not. Probably the highest quality price ratio whiskey that I know. Every Ardbeg, and I've loved them all, that costs even twice as much as this one does not compare to this whiskey. This is still their best whiskey and it's got an actual age statement. All right, that's my top five go-to uh, whiskeys. And I wanna give a shout out to all my fellow whiskey YouTubers. And I wanna hear from Swami. I wanna hear from Rob, Whiskey Into Six. I wanna hear from the Scotch Four Dummies. I wanna hear from all your others. What are your top five go-to whiskeys? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs>